All right, you're still hanging out with us right here on Why in the Morning. And I love it because you love watching us. And we love you too, by the way. But before too, we go too far, first things first, you can always plug in on, on our social media. That is on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, at Y244 underscore channel. And by the way, we had asked you a question. Uh, what exactly do you do you gain and benefit from networking and uh, it's related to actually the topic you're going to talk about which is golfing and networking what are the benefits by the way and have you networked and by the way have you also played golf tell me tell me tell us on our social media at y channel uh, personally mine is at brian sakwana one and just in case you're not seated in front of your tv screen we are doing it live and for free without zero ads on our website which is www.kbc.co.ke forward slash y254 you can find us right there and we are also available on signet go tv star times everywhere every tv distribution platform by the way you can always find us at y254 channel and right about now we're going to talk about an interesting topic that most of us love sometimes we have a clue sometimes we don't but i love the fact that we have a guest in studio who's actually going to take us to that whole world of golfing. His name is uh, Kamaunya Bwengi. He's also um, the founder and CEO of Yen Africa. Yen Africa in full is Young Entrepreneurs Network Africa, abbreviation which is Yen. He's also the founder and CEO. So he's live with us in the studio with us. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you yeah. for coming to Y254. Thank you for the invite. Have you ever been to KBC? Uh, that was a while back. That was quite a while back. I think in 20, 2011. Yeah. That's close to now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but a welcome back Thank you. to this other side of KBC. Thank you and uh, before we even get to uh, the whole the whole aspect of golf, uh, a lot of people actually who, who watch uh, golf just see uh, I'm told it's a club. Somebody holding a stick and they stroke a cabal and it disappears. Sometimes it just shows us like a clip of that cabal falling into a hole. So what are the dynamics that happen behind, you know, the golf, the, the golf uh, as a sport before even someone joins and becomes a professional? And I love the fact that, you know, you're also in that space. All right. So the whole idea of golf is for you to hit that golf ball okay. with the least number of shots and get it into the hole. Right. Uh, so you have um, different uh, clubs, different types of clubs, some to hit uh, far distance, some of them to hit a close distance. Right. Uh, some of them to now when you get on where we call the green, that's right. where your destination is. Then you just tap the ball, you roll it and then it gets in the hole. So right. the whole idea is to do that with the least number of strokes. Right. right, so the so yeah. the the motion or the action is called stroke. It's, it's called uh, a swing. Oh, swing, a swing, and okay. then every time you hit, it's called a stroke. All right. Yes. So I'm sure you're getting it. Well, I pull it. And you mentioned the word club, mm -hmm. so I'm still stuck there. Yeah. So they're called clubs, no sticks. Oh, those yeah. those sticks the, are yeah. called clubs. Yes, yes, yes. All yes. right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So and there are different uh, lens uh, for different uses. Okay. Uh, for hitting far distances for hitting medium distance and then for actually just uh, putting. So uh, we have the long ones called the drivers. We have the medium ones called the irons. We have the even shorter ones called uh, wedges. And then we have a putter. So okay. those are like the different types of clubs. Right. Um, just used to uh, like do different things on the course. Right. Yeah. All right. There's a question that has popped up. You know, somebody had asked, why do people join golf? And somebody simply answered, they join golf to network. But I love the fact that yours is massively integrated with entrepreneurship. Even in your description, you talk about, you know, networking and uh, uh, even giving resources and even opportunities to young entrepreneurs through golf as an art and also as a sport. How does that exactly happen? So um, golf of all the sports, I, I think, is the most closely associated sport um, uh, with networking. Right. Uh, how it happens is because of how golf is played. So golf is played uh, with a maximum of four people. Uh, you cannot play five guys, but you can play two, three, or a maximum of four. So what happens is after you hit your first shot, okay. um, you're walking down towards where your golf ball is. Okay. And then uh, naturally, as you're going towards uh, both of your golf balls, uh, or I mean, depends on how many you are, uh, you sort of like engage in a conversation. It's like a, it's like a leisure walk, you know, uh, right. where you can be able to 
talk to the next person. And this person is all like soccer, you know, like soccer where you're running. running and yeah, he's angry yeah, at the opponent. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So, so, uh, so as you're walking, right. then you can uh, naturally just strike a conversation, and that conversation can uh, be about business. Especially right. if you do not know each other, uh, you will just uh, ask. So, Sakwa, uh, what, what do you do? Uh, mm -hmm. And then you will tell me, and I also tell you what I do. And then if there is a connection, okay. then you get to strike business. Right. Uh, for you to finish a whole round of golf, okay. it will take about four hours. So imagine that's a whole game. Now. That's a whole game. That's like a eight, tournament eight, one play. Like a whole round of eighteen holes. Right. Eighteen right? holes. Eighteen holes because that in is one pitch. It, it's actually eighteen holes because that's the maximum number of holes. Okay. So uh, it's usually divided into two. So okay. there is the first nine and then the back nine, right? Uh -huh. So you first finish the first nine, okay. and then after you do, you can take a 10, 15 minutes break, and then mm. you come back for the second nine. The full game is 18 holes. So okay. the first nine you will do probably with two hours, and then the second nine with uh, the two remaining hours. Two. Yeah. Right. So imagine it's that like first half and second half. Sec the first half and second <laughs> half, exactly. Oh, yeah. So imagine you are with this person for uh, those four hours, right? right. It's mm. enough time to, you know. Um, get to know them, get to know what they do, and then if there's a chance for business to happen, probably to not happen there, but I mean, you get to sort of like interact with this person right. quite, quite a lot, yes. Fantastic, I love that. And you know, even the perspective of golf itself in general, you know, comes with some sort of sense of, you know, luxury, you know, uh, rarely. The, most of the stories highlighted, rarely have we seen stories of like struggling people playing golf. It's always a CEO or Safaricom meet CEO, okay, you meet CEO or Yen. Rarely do you just see like the common, you know, people. Is it, is it a game that requires like maybe some certain qualifications for you to join maybe a golf club? Are there maybe levels and maybe uh, some certain specific qualifications for you to join one? Not quite. And that's the notion that we want to dispel because people have always thought that golf is uh, very expensive. Uh, you need to uh, be a member of a club. You need to own the equipment. And that's uh, why we started the program, the Yen Golf uh, program. Right. Because first of all, you don't need to be a member. Oh, of a, of a club, have, yeah, uh -huh. for you to, let's okay. say, train with us. We train at Windsor. Okay. Uh, you don't have to be a member there. Uh, okay. You first come and train, and then you can take up the membership if you'd like, right? right. Uh, and in terms of uh, membership rates, uh, we have, I mean, very premium clubs, okay. right? Like Windsor, Mudaiga, Karen, they're premium in terms of uh, how much you pay. Right. And then we have more affordable places, right. places that are up country. Uh, we have a, a, a golf course here at, um, it's a public course. Right. Like, like it's partly owned uh, by, by the government in trust. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, so it, it's one of the most affordable. It's actually 20,000 a year, right? right? So, um, so golf is not, uh, it's not, uh, we usually say it's not uh, cheap, okay. right? But it's very affordable. Right. Then for you to, um, for anyone to train, right. they don't need to own the equipment. Mm -hmm. The equipment comes at uh, quite a cost, uh, right. from let's say forty thousand all the way. But, but forty thousand is got a good amount of money, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's a good investment, <laughs> right? right? Um, so uh, we, you don't need to own the equipment for you to train, right? Okay. So uh, for our training, we usually charge twenty five thousand. I usually give an example of you know young guys, right, and what they do on the weekends. All right. Um, they'll end up spending a 5,000 or 7,000 somewhere, okay. right? So if you count that like in like a month, you're already like um, um, afforded the mm -hmm. training. And then once you have trained, there are opportunities to play all the time in all these different clubs. Right. Um, there are tournaments where you can participate. You don't need to be a member in that club which holds the tournament. Right, so there's once you know how to play, there's a lot of opportunities for you to just advance the game. And as you're doing that, yeah. you're getting to meet different people in different sectors. If you're in business, you get to also put right. your business out there. Right. Yeah. In terms of gender, would you say it has more men as compared to women, I, or I, it's a balanced? I, I think it's it's sort of balanced for our training. Sometimes we get more men than ladies. Sometimes more ladies than men. Right. But all 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 genders are. Are interested, uh, right. are interested in the sport. Right. Uh, ladies are taking up the sport a lot also. Actually, yeah. are there maybe in Kenya that you can point out that, uh, let's say amateur slash professional, not exactly professional, right? Yeah, 
that you can point out and even give a shout out the ones you've managed to play with? Um, uh, probably I'll mention uh, our trainer, uh, David Opati, pro David Opati. Mm -hmm. uh, he's one of the uh, best uh, trainers uh, in golf. Um, he has certification from South Africa to train. Right. Uh, one of the only six that are certified. Um, he nowadays do not, does not play very actively, but okay. uh, he spends all uh, most of his time um, uh, teaching okay. uh, through our program. We also have the other pro at um, at uh, Windsor. Uh, his name is Riz uh, Charania. Uh, uh, he's also a very for him he does both uh, play and and teach right so those are like two of the like top golfers in terms of um, the um, teaching part and also the playing part and we have m more we have uh, we have very many pros um, at golf park uh, that's where most of them you'll find most of them okay. um, and they participate in the Kenya Open okay. uh, the Kenya Open is part of a uh, European tour series uh, mm -hmm. it's coming up I think in March okay. right um, uh, last year we had um, a, a young man who was uh, uh, he's a pro, uh, he's a very, really good golfer okay. and he was one who like did the best his name is uh, I think Jaroge, um, and uh, he went all the way to, did not manage to win the tournament uh, because it's very competitive, okay. but he went up to at least uh, the last day okay. of the tournament, which is very encouraging for, for, for golfers in Kenya. All right. Yeah. Great. Um, let's backtrack, Dogo, personally for you now, before you became the CEO of Yen. Uh, did you, like, uh, at some point, uh, visualize yourself playing golf? Um, did you have, did you, like, just accidentally, you know, there's people who say, I just accidentally met them at a mall, <laughs> and here we are, we have a whole mall together. Uh, for you, did you always gravitate towards, like, playing golf? Am I, it's something that you loved along the way, it's a passion you picked up. And just and, and just in case we don't know, do you like do it professionally now? Or am I still part of like a hobby, part time hobby? Uh, okay, so uh, for me, golf was never in my radar as such. Like it's not like I grew up playing golf or my parents did. Uh, no, I actually. We bumped, like, as you said, it was sort of like an accident yeah. uh, because we uh, met uh, through our networking. So Yen is a networking platform. So through one of those networking forums, we met uh, some guys who were doing golf and we partnered with them and then uh, it has developed from there. So yeah. that's six years ago. That's yeah. when I actually started uh, uh, golf myself okay. also. Uh -huh. um, so, and then with that, uh, I've, I've come to, uh, like, of course, learn the sport. I've, uh, I'm not, like, a pro. Okay. I, like I said, I'm, I'm an, amateur. an amateur. When you, when you mm -hmm. play golf and you have a handicap, it's, uh, you're called an amateur. Right. Um, I'm, let's say I'm an average player, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm what makes you now a professional? What differentiates you from, like, you're an amateur and this is now a professional golfer? So professional like, golf yeah. in Kenya, you need to, um, some of the requirements, are several, but some of the requirements are, your handicap has to be either zero or very close to zero. So handicap, so handicap is like how good or bad you are, right? right. It's your rating. It starts right. from 54 all the way to zero, right? right. So if you're 54, uh -huh. you are starting out. So the, yeah. the biggest score should be at least 50, 54. Um, 54, um, it's not a score as such, it's like your rating. It's okay. like, yeah, it's okay. like, yeah, it's like your rating. It's more it's like, of experience. Yeah, it's know. like how experienced you are. Right. So if you're uh, like a handicap, let's say 54, 52, that means that you're, you're really, you know, starting out, you're still very new. Right. And then as it goes down, so as you play better, your handicap goes down. Right? Oh, with right. every game you have to return your card and then it's put in the system okay. and then so your handicap goes down so this card who are you returning it to, is to it the to club. club to the club the club yeah. you play for. the club you play at oh, oh you play at. Y yes all oh, right yes and it's not necessarily that you the club owns you or you're a member you could be you don't like need to be a, a member like you could, yeah you could be let's say you play a tournament at bodega right and your your home club is um, let's say um Windsor. So okay. when you play your tournament at uh, Modaiga, uh, that card, that scorecard, you return it. 
and then when you return that scorecard, they'll put it in the system, and it will be able to reflect. There's an app that uh, guys have. It's called oh, how for golfers. For golfers. It's okay. called How Did I Do? So they how? Put, uh, how Did I Do? How Did I Do? Yeah. It's downloadable it's, everywhere? Yeah, it's downloadable, okay. but you need to be a member uh, of a certain club okay. uh, so that you are able to use it because uh, that's like how you it's like a vetting body where you so sign up e and now you get e to be identified in the space e the system sort of yeah all right and now speaking of that uh, for anyone who is watching right now back at home and uh, for a very long time they've they've watched news updates because uh, golf is a sport of course and they've watched uh, sports uh, updates about golf and for a very long time they've been wanting to join golf like where do they start uh, should they start by, you know, looking at someone who's already playing and maybe give them a call or maybe Google the nearest golf club and join up? How do they actually begin and start that journey and I'll become an amateur like you are? So the best, uh, first of all, if they're in Nairobi, uh, what I could uh, encourage them to do is uh, join our program. Uh, we run the program every Friday, Saturday and Sunday at Windsor in the afternoon from 2 p.m. Right. Um, as I mentioned, we charge only 25000 uh, which covers uh, a whole package of uh, eight sessions. Uh, actually, right now it's nine. Okay. Uh, but during that, those sessions, first of all, from the very basics, uh, the first session we teach you how do you hold this club, mm -hmm. right? How do it's you... It's more of training. It's right. a training, right? right? So we teach you all the techniques okay. uh, over those eight sessions. Uh, we take you to the course to play a real game situation. We teach you how to interpret the rules, how to mark your scores. Okay. By the time you're done with the eight sessions, you are at a place of where you can play proficiently. Right. And then once you know how to play, then you can decide which club to join. Uh -huh. And clubs have offers, like I know, um, like Machacos has an offer right now uh -huh. um, uh, for, I think, uh, if I'm not wrong, 60,000, mm -hmm. which is a lifetime. Uh -huh. And then every year you pay about 30,000. Uh -huh. um, and that now affords you the golf you can play there. And then uh, you can also reciprocate with clubs. Um, around uh, Nairobi. Uh, of course, for upcountry, um, we, uh, we are going to uh, spread uh, the training to other towns. Uh, we are starting in Nakuru very soon. Okay. Um, we might also be going to uh, the coast uh, in the second quarter of uh, uh, this, um, this year. Okay. So, uh, but the best place to do, because golf is, the best thing to do is because golf is technical it's not like football where you you just land on a field and start kicking around the ball right. it has a technique to it uh, right. how you see that swing happening there's a lot of technique to it right. so uh, the best thing to do is first get trained right. the, with a pro right yeah uh, the pro uh, of whichever club right and right. then from there uh, once you know uh, the technique now you can start uh, playing and you know you don't even have to be a member for you to be playing but if you got membership somewhere then it also is able to help you with uh, getting the handicap and for you to be rated and of course for you to just enjoy the sport in whichever club you have decided to join okay yeah. does it specifically have like a certain age bracket of like you must be at least this age to join and become you know no uh, you can join from uh, so of course there are juniors and um, adults. So juniors okay. in golf are considered to be 21 years and below. Right? Juniors? Yeah. Uh -huh. So okay. 21 years and below. So for them, of course, there's a sort of like a membership package for them. Mm -hmm. uh, the Kenya Golf Union uh, okay. will allow for, for them to play any course uh, if they have a JGF card. JGF is Junior Golf Foundation. A so Junior Golf, golf Foundation, Foundation, right, yeah. yeah. So uh, it's, it's, um, it's sort of like an initiative to uh, promote All the right. sport in Kenya. So mm -hmm. once they have, like the juniors, uh, if they have that card, JGF card, they can play any course just play, paying 100 bob. Right. Right? Uh, when, of course, adults pay the other rates, but for juniors pay only that. Okay. And then um, for the adults, of course, it's all the way. For our training, the, um, the oldest we've ever trained was actually 65 years. Okay. Right? And of course, we have, um, we have a junior training, okay. and then we also have a training for adults. All right. Yeah, so anyone can join, irrespective of their age. Golf is the, okay, apart from maybe swimming, but uh, it's the only active sport that, you, that anyone can play, even if they're as old as, you know, 
Yeah, because it's just about walking. So you hit that golf ball, even if it goes over there, you follow it, uh, hit again, you know, uh, and that anyone can do, whether right. they are young or very old. Right. Yeah. And, 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 and I think uh, that gives the, uh, even someone who's watching back at home the opportunity to join, you know, whenever you're able to. Yes, when you're able to. Yeah, yeah. I love the fact that you know it has uh, these organizations, including yours, mm -hmm. that help people become better at it mm -hmm. and know the way forward. They say it's better to know the rules of the game before you play it. Yeah. It's more important than exactly. playing even the game itself. Yeah, exactly. Which is excellently fantastic. Yeah. Now, um, even if, if, even as uh, we consider golf as, as a, a very big, good sport that's it's so richly revered by so many people. Of course, we had the new CS, that is uh, Babu Namamba, who has currently, you know, is trying to give uh, the sports sector, uh, Ministry of Sports, Arts and Entertainment anyways, a uh, facelift. Uh, are there maybe like changes that you anticipate uh, he might uh, influence in, in the golfing space that maybe could possibly affect the golf itself, uh, the, the, the playing of golf positively as well? Um, I think it's about, I think the best thing uh, the ministry uh, or the government can do is uh, try, because these initiatives that have been there are from the corporate uh, side, like how what Safaricom is doing, okay. right? Uh, for golf to grow uh, in Kenya as it has done in South Africa, okay. it needs to be more grassroots. People need to uh, stop seeing it um, yeah. or as an thinking elite, as an elite of, you know, uh, sport. You need sport, to yeah. introduce golf to like primary schools, okay. right? As one of the sports, they have enough space. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them have enough space with the field and all that. So yeah. make sure that uh, it gets um, it gets uh, adoption from that level, okay. and then also um, maybe have like say about one, two, three public facilities. Right now we only have in Kenya just one, uh, the Ngong Race Course uh, yeah. at Golf Park. So have, let's say, more of that or make that more open to more people so that uh, more people can be able to experience the sport. Okay. Once we have a lot of people um, uh, playing, then the competition sort of, uh, it pushes the guys at the top Right, and the guys at the top, of course, when it comes to international tournaments and all that, they become really good. So, uh, and then it's also just sort of like develops the talent. You don't know once you introduce them uh, the the sport to the grassroots in high schools and primary schools, uh, there is talent there, right? Yeah. Probably it just not has uh, yet been discovered, but okay. uh, I'm sure there is talent there. So right. start growing it from there. Um, let golf not be something that people think it's, you know, it's something that it's outlandish. They cannot be able to uh, access it. They cannot, they don't know where to start or how to start. And of course, probably uh, maybe just supporting and encouraging programs like, like ours that we're trying to get golf out there to as many people as possible, irrespective of um, their different walks of life. Right, fantastic. Yeah. I was trying to get it right here. Uh, aside from, you know, playing golf, uh, you are, a, you are a man of many faces, or let's say you're multifaceted. And I can see right here, you speak in youth forums. You've also been invited to share uh, your startup journey and experience in entrepreneurship in different gatherings, including the African Development Bank's East African Ministerial Conference about jobs for youth in Africa. But away from that, you also won an award in 2013 as part of a two-man team that won the Young Innovators Award uh, dubbed ITIC for Summit's mobile technology category where the road safety software solution called Matsav Msafiri. Like, uh, how did that happen and how did you get some merge into that world? Okay. So, uh, my background is um, in entrepreneurship. Actually, okay. that's what I studied in, uh, in school. Okay. Um, I was uh, lucky to go to uh, Moi University. Uh, initially, uh, I was supposed to study engineering, but uh, the mathematics was not happening. Mm -hmm. right? So I decided, let me change to something that is more um, like something I like, right. uh, which is business. Okay. Uh, so I studied entrepreneurship. Uh -huh. And so that is being my background. I've been able to 
I explore different opportunities um, in tech, mm -hmm. like um, with that Master Abum Safiri, um, the Master Abum Safiri road safety solution. Okay. So what we wanted to do with that is um, that we, when you're in a, in, a, in a public service vehicle, you could use your phone as an app, with an app, okay. to track how fast, how, like if it's uh, being, if, if, if it, you could actually see the speed with, okay. in, with an app on your phone. Right. Um, so if it's over speeding or if it's being driven recklessly and all that, so you could report that. So that was um, like a road safety solution that we um, were, were proposing. Um, and then we got an award with that. Um, the other thing you mentioned is um, the uh, jobs for youth in Africa. Okay. That was a forum organized by uh, AFDB, which we uh, help put together. Okay. Uh, and uh, so we were just exploring different opportunities that could um, give uh, employment uh, to uh, the youth in Kenya and okay. in Africa and we came up with recommendations and all that. Um, also, um, 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 uh, uh, besides golf, I, I am I'm into technology. I, yeah. I, um, uh, I'm into cryptocurrencies and blockchain. Right. Actually, you're a forex trader. Uh, Professional forex, be. you used to be. Yeah. You're no longer. What happened? <laughs> um, uh, forex. Uh, I mean, I don't know whether you know about it, but it's not an easy business. Okay. Um, it, it requires a lot of patience, a lot of um, a, a, a lot of input in terms of uh, time, and also capital. Uh, if you're trading with us with the small. I mean, um, a base of capital, then right. there is not much you can do. So yeah. uh, I realized that, uh, you know, I, at that point, I did not have enough capital for me to, like, uh, be making uh, sufficient. And also it required a lot of time, right. uh, which I was focusing, uh, like, on other things. That's why I stopped. Right. Uh, I also burned my fingers, to be honest. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like you, lost, risked, uh, yeah. you risked your life and uh, put it on the line uh, with your money. Yeah, you know? and then I, I lost some money, but I mean, it was not uh, too much money, but either way it was. Um, okay. mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, that's why I left, but, but that's what led me into cryptocurrencies, right. which have a different strategy of you can just buy and hold right. and wait for it to appreciate in value and sell. You don't have to actively be trading. Right. Okay. So that's uh, part of what uh, you of also do aside from, also do, you know, uh, aside golf. from golf. And, and, and I love the fact that, you know, it's integrating, you know, uh, golf as well as, you know, you being a CEO. Uh, the last time I checked the issue about Forex, uh, I, I stopped at bots, trading <laughs> bots. Because there's someone who said, uh, there's someone who had said on social media, I didn't use your bots and buy a cafe like a chico pesa zangu, here ni Conman, ni hapo your conversation. <laughs> but we'll talk about it yeah, another it, time. It's a, it's a very, it's yeah. a very complex business. It, it, it's, it is a business at the same uh, time, but it's a very complex business. Right. Yeah. So it, 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 it's, it's, it's an art that needs to be learned, right? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a skill. It's <laughs> right. a skill. You need to know how to interpret the charts. There's a lot of um, things that happen, like uh, when to buy, when to sell, right. uh, when to hold. Right. Okay. So you need, to, and, and the bots sometimes, you know, um, you could give them conditions. So what happens with the bots is that you give them conditions. You tell them, like you code it, and then you tell it that when this condition happens, do this, buy. Or when this condition happens, sell. So okay. sometimes, um, uh, since it's a bot, uh, there's a lot of mistakes that can happen because it's automated. So sometimes right. it might buy or sell when it's not supposed to because those conditions have been met, right. but there's other things that uh, you're supposed to, con to consider. So when okay. you're trading manually, All then right. you're able to tell that, okay, these conditions have been met, but it's not, there's something else that could like disqualify Right. Uh, conditions. Like one mistake, yeah. everything flops. Like one mistake could be, yeah. yeah. But the, all these things are best on technology and uh, uh, we can switch it up again. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go back to golf as we wind up. Do you feel like uh, technology has played a huge role in maybe revitalizing golf as a sport, especially right now, even in our country, Kenya, not just worldwide? Kenya specifically. Do you think technology has played a big role? I think it does. It has. Um, because uh, how we are able to reach out to people uh, for the program is through our social media. Okay. Right? So we have a very active uh, Instagram page, we have a Facebook page, um, we are there on LinkedIn, uh, we are there on Twitter, 
uh, we have uh, WhatsApp groups uh, of, uh, of the alumni, okay. right? Uh, all this is technology. All this is the internet, it's social media, which was not there like uh, if you say, let's say, 15 years ago, right? So if we're doing the same thing 15 years ago, uh, probably will not be able to uh, reach uh, people as much as we are uh, right now. You know, for right now, in, in terms of Instagram, Facebook, um, you can put yourself out there, you can you know, put up ads, you can target. Uh, so all that is technology that's making it easy for you to reach your target audience. And then people okay. can be able to see. Uh, in terms of now the technology in the learning itself, okay. um, probably it's getting there. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, with golf, it's just you and your swing and your clubs. Okay. Uh, there's no AI. Uh -huh. right? <laughs> By the way, yeah. yes. no, I think that's the beauty of it. But are there sports that have AI? I don't think so. Um, Do we have them? Uh, maybe like a game, maybe like a, a mobile yeah, game. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. That's AI anyways. Mm, right. Yeah. But with golf, like it's, like, it's very raw. It's just you and your, your, your swing clubs and, and, and your equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, I have three more questions and then we sum it up. Mm -hmm. Who are your three favorite professional golfers? and why it could be local or international. Okay, uh, one of my favorite because I work with him is David Opati. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. Right, so the trainer, he does a very good job. Okay. Um, there are a guy that uh, I think, uh, of course, and uh, everybody knows him is uh, Tiger Woods. Mm. Right? Uh, you know, I almost confused Tiger Woods for cricket. <laughs> yeah, no, Tiger Woods is for golf. Right. Tiger Woods is one, uh, you could he's say like one a legend of, the, of Yeah, yeah, he's a golf, legend, right. yeah. He's been through so much in his personal life, he, right. in his golf uh, life, like the other day um, he had an accident. And an accident, yeah, uh, And he's been able yeah. to still come back and, and you know, recovered, yeah, had yeah, the surgery yeah, and everything. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, and then the old time uh, uh, Jack Nicholas is one of the legends. So right. if we could mention, yeah, those are... Uh, no, uh, guys that I could mention in terms of how, uh, who I, I would admire. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what is that one equipment that every golfer, or just any person who plays golf, mm -hmm. at least to Kianda Kwaki, I'm uh, you meeting them, at least they have it, one, one or two, or even three or more. Uh, uh, like uh, if you see this person carrying this bag or this paraphernalia, yeah. most definitely you're already judging this guy plays golf. Yeah. Mostly, uh, it will be how the dress, right, okay. and also the the kit. Right. So f if you so there's a certain dress code. There's a certain dress code. Okay. You are always supposed to be in a polo t-shirt. A polo t-shirt. Yeah. The right. pants have to be either khaki or cotton material. Uh, okay. Jeans is not allowed. Oh, oh, jeans not yeah. allowed. Jeans is not allowed. Too bad. Is it because <laughs> it's for poor people? No, 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 no. no. You know, jeans. Right. Uh, even when you're going for hiking. By you, the way. You, you can't wear jeans, you know, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. so, some because, cotton material. yeah, yeah, right. just easy so that as you're walking around, it's not too hot, um, you know, uh, yeah, so jeans, um, it's not allowed, sweatpants is not allowed, the tracksuit is not allowed, so it has to be khaki or cotton material, and then the polo t-shirt, and then most people have a cape because of just the sun, and then you need a glove on your left if you're right-handed, just one glove, and then there are shoes for golf, uh, which usually have a spike at the, at the bottom so that they help you with the grip as you're swinging. And right. then, so that would be, if you, if you like, so someone, uh, maybe that dress code we can be able to notice. And the other thing, of course, is the set, the okay. golf set, right? So okay. that one comes as a package. Oh. So we have the golf uh, bag together with the clubs inside, the different okay. clubs, a uh, maximum of 14. Right. So they're either between nine and 14. 14 will be the uh, whole set. Nine will be when it's a beginner set. All right. Yeah. I remember, I remember the terminology. There's a pa, you mentioned of a pa. Mm -hmm. Uh, buddy, mm -hmm. buddy, who are buddies now? There's like golf, fellow golf <laughs> so, players. So, so no, 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 okay. no. It's not buddies like B U D W oh, buddies y. for buds. It's, it's like a bud with an I E. So oh, that wow. is like a okay. score, right? So, oh, uh, so okay. in golf, as we mentioned, it's about doing the least number of strokes. So when you do right. the, uh, so there are three types of holes. One is called a par three, a par four, and a par five. Okay. Right, so the par three you are expected to finish in three strokes. The par four, four strokes. The par five, five strokes. So um, for 
uh, if you finish in the exact number, like for a par five, you finish in five, then that's okay. called a par. Right? right, like you've done it in pa in the level of what you're supposed to do. Okay. If you finish in one less, then it's called a buddy. Oh, right. Okay, nice. So if it's a par five, you do four shots. Nice. It's called a buddy. Right. And then if you do one more, it's called a bogey. A right. Bogey. So if wow. it's a par five, okay. you do six. Right. right? You, you, you've done a bogey. And then if you do seven, double bogey. If you do eight, triple bogey, like that. Wow. Then if you do less than, so for, for par five, if you do two less, it's okay. called uh, an eagle. Huh. Right? Yeah. Uh, if you see. do three less, it's called an albatross. Yeah. Wow. So I, I think I should be writing this. Thing <laughs> but uh, I love the fact that you're here. After yeah. here, we're going straight up. <laughs> to play golf yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I, I, lo I love the fact that it's giving a lot of insights that, you know, a lot of people had no idea. Like, who would have known there's a buddy, B-R-I-R-D-I-E-S mm -hmm. in golf, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. and the stick, C stick, it's called it's a, a club. A golf right? club, yeah. Right. I actually, I would like to welcome you um, okay. and your team mm -hmm. uh, for an orientation session. Every okay. time we have uh, before we start a class we do a free orientation session okay. to get you guys uh, just you know um, learning and mm -hmm. getting to know what happens yeah so for that one you don't charge anything okay. you don't even need to have the attire you just show up right. uh, the next uh, orientation session is going to be on the f uh, 5th uh, of f 3rd 4th and 5th of February Right. right, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday yeah. at 2 p.m. So just show up at Windsor as okay. you are. Right. We'll give you an experience. That, those clubs that we're talking about, we wish we brought them mm -hmm. on air. Yeah, I wish. Uh, yeah, yeah. Way, we so have them, those yeah. clubs we're talking about, we'll give you a chance to learn about them. Okay. We'll give you a chance to actually do a swing so that you just right. get your experience. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you're. Because there's always a certain posture. Even mm -hmm. when you see the photos taken by golfers, yeah. they're always standing twisted, like on a certain. Yeah, it's, it's, you know. it's called a follow through, yeah? A follow? Follow through. Like right. you have to finish okay. your swing. If you just right. hit that's the, not finishing your swing. Yeah, the so position. If, yeah. So okay. if you hit the ball and you just stopped here, okay. it's not be able to fly. So you have right. to hit them. You know. So it's some hit. body posture. It's a, it's a and body also movement. movement. Yeah. Movement, yeah. Right. yeah. Which you need to learn. Which you need to learn. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. But, but it's not too difficult. It's just not difficult. Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. Because mm -hmm. it's so scary that like golf near my CEOs, golf near my hustlers. That is, come uh, as you mentioned, <laughs> that is what you want to dispel. Golf is for everyone, right. especially for the young people. We'd like to encourage you to take up the sport. Okay. Um, just be intentional about it. Okay. Uh, save up. Uh, if you stop some bad habits over the weekend, probably you can be able right. to. Sherehe <laughs> maneno. Yeah. So, say my payment of best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. You can be able to learn a sport that will last you a lifetime. Cool. To give you an opportunity opportunity to interact with you know other uh, golfers other golf network fans. now you network. see I've, I've actually now seen how people network because exactly. you're meeting another golf professional mm -hmm. you exchange ideas exactly. like for me for me when i come i'm i'm not like a ceo mm -hmm. yet uh, you know i'll be one mm -hmm. i'm a media personality so yeah. when i come you know we exchange ideas with someone who is from a bank mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so these two entities meeting sharing ideas yeah. and now mm -hmm. you become partners right mm -hmm. exactly in a, in a relaxed Love friendly it. fun way right, right? Yeah. And you guys eat because if, if there's food involved, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> that very that fast. happens in what we call the 19th hole. Oh, the 19th and hole. So, 18 holes is the official. Okay. Right? That is in the course. The right. 19th hole is like sort of like a culture. It's, there's no physical 19th hole as such. But oh. the 19th hole means that after you finish that 18 holes, now okay. you go sit down and, you know, as you're sipping on some water or some drink or, or some, yeah or some food now that's now where more of the business happens, happens right. because now that that time you're you're relaxed you right. have already tallied your scores and all that you're talking about the game right and you know you can get to right. uh, interact even with more people at that at that point right yeah. it reminded me of a story about my nakageni when he was starting his career he said he mm. once went to a certain golf club met someone who changed his career and life forever today mm. he's among the richest media personality anyway story <laughs> for another day but now you can tell us we aware if maybe someone wants to catch you yeah. do your live action maybe uh someone wants to come and join and start playing where can they get you even if there's a social media platform or a physical mm. location uh your camera is right over here great so we are on social media, um, on social media, uh, on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, LinkedIn as Yen Africa. So Yen dot Africa um, for Instagram, 
Young Entrepreneurs Network Africa on Facebook. Uh, if you just Google Young Entrepreneurs Network Africa, you're going to also see uh, right. our website. Okay. Right? You can land on our website and also see what we do. We have our contacts there that you can be able to reach out. Uh, reach out to us with. Uh, right. We also have a shop and um, sort of like a, a space where okay. we operate from, okay. which is on uh, Kiambu Road um, at a place called Four Ways Village. Okay. So the Four Ways Village you can walk in uh, if you needed to buy any golf equipment, any golf attire, or just wanted to talk to us live. We usually, okay. you know, there uh, every day from uh, every Tuesday to Sunday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Basically today. Yeah, yes, yes. Right. Yeah, like pastors, we take off on Mondays. Right. Is there a number that someone can call right yeah, now? The number yeah, the they, they can call right. is uh, 0740-205-991. Okay. Uh, that is the office number, 0740-205-991. And you can be able to speak to us. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, Sako, for the invite. Right. I really appreciate the opportunity. You're welcome, sir. And on that note, I think we can call it a day. That has been Kamau Nyabwengi. He is the founder and also CEO of Here in Africa, trying to give us perspective of what exactly happens behind living golf. Living golf in Kenya, I hear it's also a uh, club. Um, but this is just living golf as a lifestyle. Come on now. It's an amazing sport. And right now, I'm so motivated. I really can't wait. Even I and my co host, Stephanie, most definitely will be giving you those pictures. Probably. Don't know. Taste of Pali Coin Star Stories. So, so expect that in March.